There was a church called the Church of Sardis that John was commissioned by Jesus to send a letter to. And Sardis was the ancient capital of Lydia. And this is how that letter goes. Write this to Sardis, to the angel of the church. And this is how Jesus describes himself here. The one holding the seven spirits of God in one hand. Remember a, a few months back, I talked about Isaiah 11, where the Holy Spirit has seven attributes. Remember seven is the number of perfection. And this is what it's describing here. The seven spirits of God being the Holy Spirit itself. So he holds the Holy Spirit in one hand and a firm grip on the seven stars with the others. Remember we had talked in the letter to the church of Ephesus that the seven stars represent the seven messengers, pastors or angels of these seven churches. If this is the Jesus that is speaking, he said, I see right through your work. You have a reputation for vigor and zest, but you are dead stone dead. Wow. That means you look one way to people, but I see past the facade and I see to the heart. And when I look at your heart, you are stone dead. You put on an act so people can perceive you this way, but this is what you really are. Up on your feet. Take a deep breath. Maybe there's life in you yet, but I wouldn't know it by looking at your busy work. Nothing of God's work has been completed. Your condition is desperate. Think of the gift you once had in your hands, the message you heard with your ears. Grasp it again and turn back to God. There's one translation that says, wake up. Wake up. Some of us need to hear that message today. We need to wake up. Do you know that Sardis was a city that twice was taken captive and sieged? And, and back then they had what they called watchmen who would stand on the wall and who would warn the entire city because cities were fortressed by walls. And he would yell out to the entire city that the enemy was coming. Well, the prophet Ezekiel wrote this about being a watchman. He said this, son of man, it's a message, a prophetic message to Ezekiel from God himself. Son of man, I've made you a watchman for the family of Israel. Whenever you hear me saying something, warn them for me. If I say to the wicked, you're going to die and you don't sound the alarm warning them that it's a matter of life or death, they will die and it will be your fault. I'll hold you responsible. Oh, oh my goodness. Those of us that are professed believers are watchmen on the wall in this moment and day and age. And we are mouthpieces of the living God to warn people when the enemy is coming and that when the enemy is coming, the thief who comes to steal, kill and destroy, if he comes and takes us captive by the things of this world, then we will be destroyed. That is the position of a watchman. And we cannot be watchmen if we are dead. So he is saying, wake up. We do not have um, the privilege of being a dead people now. And he says, if you are, if you have abdicated your position as a watchman and you are not sounding the alarm, I am calling you to sound, then I will hold you responsible. I take this space and place with you very seriously. I listen very hard to know that I am delivering the word of the Lord. I do not think it's an accident that he told me for the last weeks of this year to remind us of these seven letters to these seven churches. Friends, we can busy ourselves for the work of the kingdom of God and still be dead as a doornail on the inside. And he is looking at us out of his great love and he is saying, wake up.
if you pull the covers back over your head and sleep on, oblivious to God, I'll return when you least expect it. Break into your life like, like a thief in the night. You'll still have a few followers of Jesus and Sardis who haven't ruined themselves walling in the muck of the world's ways. And they're gonna walk with me on parade. They've proved their worth. He's saying not everybody is this way, but there are some that are. And if you don't wake up, I'm going to come like a thief in the night and you're going to miss me. Conquerors will march in the victory parade, their names indelible in the book of life. There is a book of life where all of God's people's names are written. And when we get to heaven, he's going to read from that book. I'll lead them up and present them by name to my father and his angels. Imagine this moment. One day, God will take Jesus, Jesus will take each one of us by the hand in front of God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and all the angels that have fought the wars of the ages. And Jesus will take us up before him and he will say, their name is written in my book of life and call us by name. Will it be the name we're given here on earth or that secret name we're given that's only in heaven? I don't, I don't know. And then he says, are your ears awake? Listen, listen to the wind words, the spirit blowing through the churches. Friends, I hope your ears are awake right now. I don't know if you're one that needs to wake up, but if you are, this is a message for you today. It's a message for all of us that we need to strengthen what remains. Because if we're not awake, Jesus himself will arrive as a thief and we will never even know it. We are called to be watchmen on the wall in this hour. God is speaking and we need to be letting the world know that the enemy is on the prowl. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. If your heart was encouraged today, please know that we have many other resources available for you. You can discover all of those at reclaiminghearts.org.